Here, let us look into the derivation of some of the algebraic identities. The most basic one is x plus y the whole square equals x square plus y square plus 2xy. Now, how did we get x square plus y square plus 2xy? It's like very simple. x plus y the whole square is nothing but x plus y into x plus y, which is nothing but we just need to multiply these two algebraic terms. So first we have x into x, which is x square, and then x into y, which is plus xy. Of course, with the signs, it is plus x into plus y, which is plus xy. And then this y into x is again xy, and this y into y is y square. So now here we have x square plus xy plus xy is 2xy plus y square. We can write this as x square plus 2xy plus y square or x square plus y square plus 2xy. It all means the same. Now let us look into another one which is x minus y the whole square x minus y the whole square is x square plus y square minus 2xy. Now let's see how this comes about. So x minus y the whole square is nothing but x minus y into x minus y, which is x into x is x square plus x into negative y, which is minus xy, plus x into minus y is minus xy. And next we have minus y into plus x, which is again minus xy. And then minus y into minus y is plus y square. So now here we have x square minus xy minus xy is minus 2xy. And then we have plus y square. Again, this can be written as x square minus 2xy plus y square or x square plus y square minus 2xy. Now let us look into another one which is something like this x plus a into x plus b. So actually x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Let's see how we get this. This is nothing but x into x is x square x into b is bx or xb is it's all the same you just write it however it is convenient to you and a into x is again plus ax and a into b is plus ab now the first term is x square if you see these two terms we have the term x which is same in both the terms we have x which is same in both the terms so we can take out x and so this term will become if you take out x out of bx we have only b left and if you take out x from ax we have only a left. So therefore it is x into b plus a. So what we are doing here is we are taking out x as common plus ab. So we can rearrange and write this as x square plus a plus b into x plus a b which is the same as this. Let us look into another one now. It is x plus y plus z the whole square. This is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. So we will see how this comes out. So x plus y plus z the whole square is nothing but x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z. So first let us take x term multiplied with all the three terms x into x, x into y and x into z which gives us x into x is x square, x into y is xy and x into z is xz or zx, however you are convenient. 
and now let's take the y term y into x y into y and y into z so we have plus y into y is y square y into x is we can write it as y x or x y x y is more the usual way of telling x y and y into z is y z now we have one more alphabet left which is z and z has to be multiplied with x y and z so z into x is let's write the plus here z into x is zx or xz since i've written xz here let me write even here as xz and z into y is yz z into z is z square so now all we have to do is just group these terms let's take the squares now first it's x square then plus y square then plus z square now you can see that we have two root terms of everything xy and xy so plus xy plus xy is plus 2xy next we have yz and yz so plus yz plus yz is plus 2yz so plus xz plus xz is plus 2xz we can also write it as plus 2zx just to make it look cyclic so x plus y plus z the whole square is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx so we've got a few more left so we have x plus y the whole cube now x plus y the whole cube can be written as x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y or x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square. Now let's see how these two expansions came about. So all we have to do is x plus y the whole cube is nothing but x plus y into x plus y into x plus y. So we first have to multiply these two terms and then whatever the answer we get from this we'll have to multiply with the remaining x plus y which we'll do now. So now x plus y into x plus y is nothing but x into x is x square, x into y is plus xy, y into x is again we can write it as xy and then y into y is y square. So this is the answer of this multiplication. So we can bracket this. This has to be multiplied with the remaining x plus y. But before we multiply this with x plus y, let's simplify this a little further. You can write this as x square plus xy plus xy is 2xy plus y square into x plus y. So now we need to multiply these three terms with both these terms. So x square into x is x cube, x square into y is x square y, 2xy into x is plus 2x square y. 2xy into y is plus 2xy square. y square into x is y square x and y square into y is y cube. Now let's group these terms. We have x square y and 2x square y. Of course we have x cube here. So we can write x square y plus 2x square y is 3x square y and 2xy square plus y square x which is the same as x y square is again 3 x y square plus y cube. Now here we've got this form. Now how do we get this one? That is again very simple. All we have to do is if you can carefully observe here, I'll write x cube here and I'll also write y cube. If you consider these two terms you can see that 3 is the same in both the terms, x is also present in both the terms and y is also present in both the terms. So we can take out 3xy as common and the left out term is x in the first and y in the second. Therefore we get x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. So this is one form. 
which we got and this is another form which we got. Now let us go to another one which is x minus y the whole cube which is nothing but can be written as x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y or we can also write this as x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. Now how do we get these two? Again all we have to do is x minus y into x minus y into x minus y. Let us first multiply the first two x minus y's. We get x into x is x square. x into y is minus x y because it is plus x into minus y. And we have minus y into x as minus x y again. And minus y into minus y is plus y square. So we've got this product. This should be multiplied again with x minus y. Now let us multiply x minus y and x square minus x y minus x y plus y square. Before that let's simplify this which is x square minus x y minus x y is minus 2 x y and plus y square is as usual. So this should be again multiplied with x minus y. So multiplying these two we get first let's take x square x square into x is x cube x square into y that is minus y is minus x square y minus 2xy into x is minus 2x square y minus 2xy into minus y is plus 2xy square and the last one is y square into x is plus y square x and y square into minus y is minus y cube. So grouping these terms we can get x cube minus y cube and these two are the same terms so we can write them as minus x square y minus 2 x square y is minus 3 x square y and these two are same again so it is 2 x y square plus x y square is 3 x y square. So we get the first term right here which is nothing but x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square is the same as this. Now how do we get this term? Again if we consider these two terms we need to take out the common terms which are 3x and y. So let us take out minus 3xy as common and we have x minus y left. Just to check, minus 3xy into x is minus 3x square y and minus 3xy into minus y is plus 3xy square. So here we are with two forms of expansions for x minus y the whole cube.